So on January 27th, around 3.15 at Dillard's at North Star Mall, the elderly gentleman that you saw in the video, he was shopping with his wife. They separated to do some shopping. Then he was going to meet up with her. Right before that, he was going to try on a sweater in the changing rooms. He goes to the changing room, goes to push open one of the doors. He thought that it was empty. When he pushed open the door, realized someone was in there, they slammed the door shut. There's a confrontation at that point between the person inside and him. They yelled that it's a female changing room. He yelled back, no, it is a handicapped changing room. He then checked to make sure that it was a handicap. He said that he double checked, realized that it was a handicap changing room. Instead of confronting them again, he went and found another changing room that was empty, continued to change, and then went about his business. At that time, the person that was inside the changing room found her mother, who went and found the, the suspect that you all saw in the video. That individual went and started searching the store for the elderly gentleman who then found him as he was getting on the escalator. You then saw what happened on the escalator where, where the assault occurred. Um, you saw what happened at that point. Uh, they then left the store. Uh, didn't, didn't call for help, didn't call the authorities. Um, no assault happened in the changing room as far as we know. None was reported. The suspects didn't call the authorities. Um, we, we don't know exactly what happened. What we need, well, let, let, me say, let me say this. What I need to know is their perspective, okay? I need to know if an assault happened for sure because all I have right now is the, the elderly gentleman's point of view and his perspective. I need to know their side. So if something happened in that changing room, I need to know what happened. For that to happen, I need their point of view. I need them to come forward and contact me here, okay? And for that to happen, I need them to call me here at the, at the headquarters. They can call, contact me at 210-207-2790. That's my phone number here. Um, if you want to come in here at headquarters, you can come in and talk to me. You come talk to me here. You can come in and talk to me and you will walk out of here. You will not be arrested. Okay, come in and talk to me. I promise you will not, you will not be arrested, but I need to know what happened. Okay, um, that's the most important thing. I, ca I, can't, I can't finish this without talking to you. For everybody else out there, if you do know who these people are, please let us know. If you know a name, please give me a name. If you know uh, a name and an association with somebody else, please give me the, both those names and I can narrow it down from there. The most important thing is a name and a birthday, then I can really narrow it down from there. Okay, any information that you have will, will greatly help me out. Okay, um, you have any questions? So the woman that you see in the video, is that the woman that was inside the changing room? The one in the pink shirt? Yes. The one in the pink shirt, we believe, is the mother. So the one in the, in the, in the bottom left corner okay. of the escalator, that's going to be who we believe is the daughter who was inside. Okay, the mother is going to be the one in the pink shirt. She was the one that was a little bit shorter in the corner end of the video. Yes. In. It yes. Was the, the guy she that kind of peaked. And yeah. Peaked and then went and then So left. she's the possible victim. <laughs> Maybe, the, depending on what they tell us. Yes. Was she in there alone? The mother was not in the dressing room with her. We don't. We don't. We don't know. Okay. Have no idea. What is the condition of the uh, the guy that got pulled down? He, he's recovering. He had some pretty extensive injuries on on his head, um, mostly mostly lacerations, um, and that's from the metal stairs. Um, he had a broken finger, uh, lots of lacerations along along his arms, and a lot of bruising bruising along his ribs and legs, um, but he's pulling through pretty well. Could there be assault charges at some point? There, that's what we're looking at right now. So the, the charge right now would be injury to elderly, serious bodily injury. Is there, any, okay. is there any other surveillance footage to confirm what the older gentleman was saying? What, about the changing room part? Yeah. So that, that's what we're trying to find right now. The, the, the issue is the angles of the cameras. So what we, can't, what we are confirming is that the the in, the elderly gentleman did go to the changing room, 
And then we did confirm that the family went to the changing room and, and then that's kind of where, where we're at, but we can't confirm that they're at the, at the changing room at the same time. Now we do have a witness though, that confirmed that they heard the confrontation. So I have a witness that heard it happen. And was it the end of, was it that male that was looking for the elderly or was the whole family kind of looking for that elderly person? No, the, the, so what ended, what ended up happening is the wife went and got the male and told him what happened. And then she ended up paying for whatever, whatever they bought. And she just stayed at the cashier's location uh, while he searched the store. Can I ask just one question? The fact that he didn't ask for or didn't call police does that give you concern that something else did occur in that dressing room? Which which one? Because the elderly gentleman didn't call police. Oh, there's no way he could have. He he was way too injured. He he was he was on an ambulance. There there's no way he could have called police. Okay, um, this is all preliminary. Again, we're still investigating. This is all still active. Lots of little details that they'll need the other side to confirm. Really quick, the confrontation. What, what, kind of confrontation was it? I mean, he knocked or anything? We don't know that. Like, that's what we're trying to find out. We don't know those details. We don't know what exactly precipitated, but we believe something that happened in that dressing room. Is right. the man still in the hospital? No, he's not, in, he's not in the hospital anymore. He's at home. He's healing. He's doing, he's doing very well. Um, and for anybody out there that does know who these people are, just, just keep in mind that this was a very a very bad assault, okay? This person, even if something did happen in that changing room, nobody was hurt as far as we know, okay? And enough time elapsed between the time that they were inside that changing room to the time that the assault did happen, all right? Enough time happened, uh, elapsed that you could have called and should have called the authorities. So I can't imagine a situation where you couldn't have called the authorities, all right? This, this assault was very nasty, very egregious, and, and, it, and it should make everybody have this pretty nasty feeling in their stomach. So when you look at this video, think about your, your own grandparents and think about what, how you feel about that, okay? Please help us out in finding out who this person is. Whatever you can do, we greatly appreciate it, okay? Thank you.